Hi everybody, thanks for watching my video. In this video, we will discuss about the life cycle assessment of lead talk, mass production and extensive uses of personal computers such as desktop and laptop contribute to global warming. Therefore, there is a need to understand the story behind. Firstly, I will tell you some basic product information about the laptop. The first portable computer was the IBM 5100, released in September in the year 1975, which was much lighter and more portable than any other computer to date. However, laptop nowadays become a very common thing in our daily life. There were over 2 billion computers in the world, which including servers, desktop, and laptops. Therefore, the impacts brought by the laptop also becoming very significant. Currently, there were some common laptop brands such as Apple, HD, Dell, Acer, and Renovo. There is a survey told us most of the people preferring to use Apple. Yet, according to the percentage of top vendors market share, the highness will be Lenovo. Do you know what are the most preferenced characteristics by the users about the laptop? There are 500 GB hard disk, 4 GB RAM, 2 GB graphic card, and 15 inch screen size. These are the laptop user favorites. But for every laptop, the maximum energy output only ranges from 50 to 100 watts per hour. Also, all the laptops they will share similar lifespan, which is typically between 3 to 4 years. This means even if you bought a very fancy laptop, after 3 to 4 years, you might still need to buy a new one. According to the study, 92% of unwanted laptops they were ended up in landfills. This means only 8% of laptops get recycled. According to another study, recycle 1 billion of laptops actually can save the energy equivalent to the electricity used by more than 3,657 US homes. Next, we will enter life cycle assessment of laptop. Firstly, extraction of raw material to manufacturing a laptop. In a laptop, 50% is built from the steel and aluminium. 26% is made up from ABS PC. And 12% is metal. Here, referring to the copper and compounds. 9% of epoxy, 2.93% of LED crust, and 0.07% of silicon plastic. When a laptop is produced, it uses up a relatively small amount of several natural resources. Some of these are in quite plentiful supply, but all of them are finished. When the skill of global manufacturing is considered, this small amount of minerals and metals suddenly seems very significant indeed. Next, manufacture. The main bulk of a laptop computer includes a printed circle block assembly, BCB, and other small electrical parts such as residues, condensers, and connectors. Manufacturing this electric part within the main block is the predominant contributor to global warming. During the pre-manufacture stage, this is because it is during this time frame that most of the global greenhouse gases are emitted. Substantial quantities of air pollution, waste water, and solid waste are emitted during this phase. But, laptop manufacturing stage is a rather simple process. 
Therefore, no major environmental impact is observed at this stage. The laptop manufacturing involves assembly and packaging. And then, once a laptop is completed at the factory, they were sent to the wholesale or retail shop, and then they were maybe sent to some company or personal use. All of these are required the energy and freeway for the transferring. In the usage phase, according to the research, the laptops are used for a means 4.x hour per day. When entered to the end of life phase, most of the laptops were sent to the landfill. Actually, from crust to metal to plastic to batteries, most of these materials that make up the laptop can be recycled or used to create new products with the same properties. And next, I will explain about the impacts. Firstly, making a laptop requires several environmental unfriendly resources. Most notably, gray as matter. The laptops also contain potentially dangerous leaks in the battery, which can emit toxic dioxin if burnt. During the manufacture, the energy use and carbon dioxide equivalent emission in the pre-manufacturing state were found to be 1,117.72 mJ. This is equivalent to a total emission of 71.15 kg of carbon dioxide equivalent of GHG. When we combine the impact from the material expression, production, manufacturing, and distribution of a laptop computer, we are expected to consume about 1,634 mJ of energy, as meet approximately 19.51 kg of carbon dioxide equivalent. This data is obtained from the European Commission. The impacts during the user's phase is hardly to identify. This is because the usage is different from individual. However, we need to know there are 0.05 kilos of carbon per hour of use in the disposal phase. The toxic materials within the laptop, such as the lead, mercury, and other toxic contaminants, the groundwater near the ranches, entering the environment. Overall, a laptop that consumes 97.34 K works hour per year experiences a near GHG emissions of 38.94 kg of carbon dioxide equivalent. I hope you can understand the impact from the laptop. There is still some mitigation action that we can do. Firstly, turning off the laptops when not in use. Secondly, setting up power management software to minimize the energy use. This too also can be done by educating consumers to understand and use power management in a proper way. And then implementing the installation of multi-core processors also can reduce the energy consumption of laptop. A multi-core processor can perform several tasks simultaneously instead of performing one task after the other. Hence, the operating times for the laptop will be lower, plus forcing it to consume less energy. And the last one, about the laptop recycling, which is, you can send your unwanted laptop back to the laptop manufacturer. That's all from my presentation. I hope you enjoy my video. Please watch this video till the end. Thank you.